Hey guys, Cruel Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with The Last of Us. Uh, last time on, we got our, uh, our introduction. We did. Uh, Sarah and Joel, we had the whole beginning part of everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we flash forward to the terrible parts. Yep. Yes, we did. So now we're in Boston, and we're trying to make our way outside. Got from Marlene. Yeah, outside of the quarantine zone. And it's been revealed to us, to Joel, that uh, uh, someone is immune. Yeah. Right? Which is a big it's, deal. It's a bite mark. Uh, now, this is going to go very well into our poll. The poll from last week we had is, if you're watching the show, have you played the games, or are you completely new? Because some of us are like, ah, Interesting, but we all knew about it. We knew it was coming. We played the game, but there is forty percent of our patrons at patreoncom blindwave that say they have not hmm. played the games. Which honestly, it's kind of I thought it's a lot, it was a lot higher than it was going to be. That is a lot higher than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I figured everybody who was going to be watching the show like right off was like excited because of their experience with the game. Yeah, I feel like there's three levels where it's like either you played the game, you either watched or you've talked about. People who have played the game, mm-hmm. or you, or you don't know anything, sure. right? So I don't like Melanie. Is like she's familiar with what the game is, but doesn't really know the story of the game. Sure. So like her aspect is like I don't really know what's going on. She's like a zombie stuff. <laughs> it's like there's zombie stuff, but I don't know how we got there. Yeah. Okay. Let's she always looks at me like you. It must be sad because you always want me to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Careful what you wish for. All right, so Thontor says, I don't have a PlayStation, so I've never played the game. I did pre-order on PC, though, which mm-hmm. is coming out in March. Soon. Mm-hmm. I'm really looking forward to that. So that's exciting. People that don't have PlayStation, if you got PC. March. March it is. Uh, Nemesis says, absolutely incredible pilot. Uh, so glad that we may finally be in the era of video game adaptations, of great video game adaptations. Good one. Talking about Doom. certain things. The, the movie? Yeah. Doom the, mo- the movie? <laughs> the one with The Rock? Yeah. <laughs> that was the an adaptation? most recent probably being Halo, which I watched and enjoyed, but admittedly have never played the game. Halo. Yeah, so sure. yeah. I was like, oh, this is fun. This guy's big, and these people are big, and they seem to be having fun shooting things. And that's, mm-hmm. I mean, you know. All right. Uh, adore any Memph Lupin. I'm sure you got that right. Adore any... <laughs> I don't know. How should you say that? Adore mini... Adore... Can open? I don't know. Adore any... Adora Nymph Lupin. Adora Lymph Nupin? Nymph Lupin. Nymph Lupin. Okay, let me yeah. start out. Adora Lymph Lupin. Limp, n- nymph? Nymph. Okay. Like a nymphomaniac or sure. like, a, like a fey creature. Yeah. Nymph. Adore... Adora Nymph Lupin. Yes. Okay. Hey, that sounds okay. Adora sure. L- Nymph oh, no. Lupin says. <laughs> uh, technically, no, I haven't played any of the games, but I've watched several different playthroughs of the first game. Ah. Three of them, of course, include Eric, Aaron, and Calvin's playthrough. Aha. Cool. At, pay- at twitch.tv slash blindly where we play games. We play through part two. Uh, right no. now. Twitch.tv slash blindly nice. tonight. If you're watching We're this joining. Monday, Monday night, he's playing Last of Us 2. Yeah. And Wednesday night. Not having any access to the game itself, it was fun to experience it along with different players and get a slightly different experience with the story every time. Mm. And now we have a whole new experience. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to end with uh, Andrew, who says, I've not played the games, but this first episode has made me so hyped for this series. And uh, once again, I'm kind of jealous that that's that's the case. You get to have this extremely high quality television show tell you the story. Um, sure. But once again, we're going to be going into this. Uh, you're going to be able to watch it. If you've never played the game, we're not going to go into any spoilers or anything like that when it comes to our theorizing or uh, review. So stick around. Anything else? No. I wish that I could play the game yeah. and watch the show for the first time without being spoiled on either one. Yeah. Yeah. Be awesome. That would so. be great. Uh, Rick is also not feeling very well. We kind of noticed like these kind of like weird like tendrils coming out of his mouth this morning. So we're just gonna have him in the back and hopefully nothing like you know. You noticed what? Yeah. The tendrils coming out. Micro greens. Yeah. I'm sure we'll be fine, right? Why no one tell me? Uh, Jakarta. This is where yep. it started. 2003. Ground Zero. Is she like a scientist or something? Doctor. Maybe. Doctor. Doctor. 
Doc, Doc, Doc. So is it a discovery or is it a lab made thing? Or is it like the evolution they're talking about with climate change? Climate yeah, change is what probably. Ini opio kordisep. Tapi kenapa menggunakan klorasol untuk mempersiapkan slide? Kami gunakan sebagai persiapan pengambilan sampel dari tubuh manusia, Bu Ratna. Cordyceps in a human? That would be ridiculous. Tidak bisa bertahan pada manusia. Come this way. Put on all of this shit. So they had their first case in a human and they're bringing someone else in to yeah. look into it. Mm -hmm. It's a bite. It's a bite. Uh-huh. Stuff's so who bit who bit them? Where's that person? That's not muscle tissue. You gonna pull stuff out? Yeah, gotta look and see what it is. Rip it open, pull it out. You gonna look in the mouth and see the little tendrils? E. Don't get, it's gonna don't get bite. Bit. It's gonna bite. She has gloves on. It'll be fine. It's gonna bite through her gloves, dude. It's dead. Oh, we're going deep. E. This is not spaghetti. It's, it's reaching for her. Uh, oh, that's it's like so growing creepy. slowly. Yeah. Again, I'm just, I need to eat her before it gets me. And that's the problem. It's inside, Eric. No, eat it. Telah menjadi keharusan sesuai dengan prosedur. Mereka harus tetap diasokusi. Okay. Siapa yang menggigit perempuan itu, Pak? They don't know. Kami tidak tahu itu. Fuck. So they stop that infection. Lalu pekerja yang lain bagaimana? Empat belas orang hilang. Fourteen workers are missing. Uh, I mean, we know where we go, so I mean, it's. Not I like know, that. but this is still so fun to watch. Yeah. Jadi apa yang harus kami lakukan? We lose. Bomb. Bomb. Oh. Jim. Mulailah pengoboman. Mulai get out. Dan seluruh orang yang ada di dalam. That's so great coming from her because she from was... From a scientist, doctor yeah. kind of person, you know? Not a military leader. Like, she's like, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> Kill everything here in the city. Cool. Every time any plants are moving, I'm always like, ah! Get out of there! Eat it! <laughs> That's it. But she's immune. It's okay. Eric starts eating everything. <laughs> yeah, it's my only defense. Ah! <laughs> Clicker attacks the music. Tune on his nose. Jeez. Morning. And they too worried that she's gonna see what happens to her. Yep. And they stayed up all night. You hungry? You can share some hours. Thanks. Marlene sent me with my own. Ow. And it's all swollen, and dry, puffy. <laughs> It's a whole fucking sandwich. <laughs> it doesn't matter if she is or she isn't what the Fireflies say. If they believe that she is, then we get what we want. If she so much as twitches, <laughs> don't. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Looks good. It looks so good. I mean, it looks terrible, but... Wow. Yeah. It's HBO different in the daylight, huh? <laughs> so the state house is across there. It's about a ten minute walk if you could go straight. So... Long way or short way? I mean, it's the long way or the we're fucking dead way. Well, I have a long way. It's based on that limited information. <laughs> you have to check it from the hotel first. Okay. We're not going through Moria. You crazy? The long way or we're dead way? I vote the long way. How did you get bit? 
You know the old mall in the QZ? The one that's sealed off and boarded up and no one's supposed to go mm -hmm. in, ever? That one? Whatever, I snuck in. So it was just you in there alone? Yeah. Yep. Everyone said the open city was crazy. Like swarms of infected running around everywhere. Not exactly like that. You know, people like to tell stories. Keeps people safe inside. So there aren't super infected that explode fungus spores on you? Shit, I hope not. <laughs> or ones with split open heads that stay in the dark like bats? That sounds terrifying. So she was referring to bats. Things that listen to my sonar. I wonder if we will get spore exploding monsters or anything. Mm -hmm. Or not, because we don't really have spores. Yeah, I don't know. Probably just something a little more real. Oh, <laughs> sick! Frog is playing the piano! It. Hello, my baby! Hello, my darling. Alright, well, I mean, maybe I could climb up there, work my way around, and open it from the inside? Uh, no, well, I'm the smallest, so it'd be easier for me to get through. Mm -hmm. But you die and you get nothing. You stay. You give me a hand. Enjoying like the like traversing that they have because mm -hmm. I wasn't sure how they'd handle it compared to like the game of like we have to travel from point A to point B. It just mm -hmm. feels so real. How long do infected live? Oh, I thought you went to school. It's a really shitty one. <laughs> well, some last about a month or two, but there's others been walking around for twenty years. Mm. All kinds of fucked up. Uh, oh man, I don't see him moving around. Yeah. Then I guess enough people came through looking for the QZ. We went inside seeking shelter. And that's how they get more and more of the city, bit by bit, year after year. Fuck. Man. It's like it's like when you see bugs. Like there's just enough moving yeah. around, you know? The look of it They're connected. Moves. More than you know. Like a hive mind. Yeah. Long fibers like wires, some of them stretching over a mile. Whoa. You step on a patch of cordyceps in one place, and you can wake a dozen infected from somewhere else. Whoa. Museum. So cool. Yeah. Right? Like, can you guys show me, like, one shortcut you took <laughs> to make this amazing <laughs> TV show? It looks so amazing. I have a spare hand. Congratulations. Grab your knife. Joel kind of doesn't right now because of the hairline fracture. <laughs> Bright lights. I have this feeling of both wanting to go play the game and then just not and watch this. Yeah. Does that make sense? Bostonian. I'm waiting for a raptor moment. Cole! Cole! I was thinking more of like from the third movie when it's like sitting oh, there. Oh, the third movie? Yeah. Alright. Right? And they're walking through. Yeah, I know. And he's like, <laughs> ah! It's, they thought it was like a museum gotcha. thing. Yeah. There's one. Cooked. Oh, finally some fucking luck. I guess we should have gone this way in the first place. Cooked. No. Oh, shit. That's fresh. We are silent. Not quiet. Silent. What? No. No question. Oh. That guy was a lot fresher. Yep. You think he's still warm? We gotta see some old boys in here. I mean, they said it usually happens within a couple hours. So your body would probably still retain. But does everyone heat. does everyone turn after they've been attacked? Or is there a chance like you just don't turn because you're too dead? It's like you can be shot in the head and be dead. Sure. Right? Like the the lady who was attacking at the one. I haven't seen any like I think it's as long as the brainstem is affected by the fungus, it can still work. Sure. 
I haven't seen any like Walking Dead style half people. Well, cause it's, yeah, cause it's like what you know? they said there. Uh, Ellie was like, you could still be ripped apart even though you're immune. Yeah. So I'm like, is there a chance that you can die too much to where you can't be infected? You turn into one. Set dressing. Give so it a good. step over it, like avoid as step much as you can, oh or can you step God. on it? So yeah, nest. They're gonna find a wet spot, aren't they? Uh, should be wearing vessies. What? Why? That was the bones, Eric. This place is pretty good. Fuck yeah, it's just like the game. I was gonna say. Fairly empty. Like, I recognize that place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, dang. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Don't hit anything. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Now they just Man, Smart. look at him. Joe! Oh my gosh. Oh, watch where you're going. This really feels like the fungus is taking over. Good. Spot. I mean, if it was going to happen to one of us, did better. Is it everything you hoped for? Jury's still out. Hey, the golden building. Like waiting for me to step on something or something, right? Joe, what the fuck is going on? I don't know. Troop transport. Holy shit! Who killed them? Fedra? No. One of them got bit. The healthy ones fought the sick ones. Everyone lost. Tess, what are you doing? I mean, our luck had to run out sooner or later. Fuck. She's infected. Show me. Oh, 
mouth with the vines connected and woke yeah. up the other ones oh, and stuff. Oh my shit. god. Mile away. Got them all up. There's so many. <laughs> oh, damn. You have a big bada boom. Could have had Joel take a couple of those. There's other boxes. Spark it down there, right? Man, it's interesting having the whole episode basically be just traversing through the city, mm -hmm. just getting a view of like what the city's like. And we didn't see, I mean, we saw a lot of them infected at the end, but just those two in yep. the middle were like, it was just done really well. Scary and hard to deal with, and those yeah. two. Yeah, the clickers. Uh, I liked it. It's the production's yeah, it's done so well. It's done so well. And I'm enjoying like the, at least for the last two episodes that we've had, the years ago, like, information that mm -hmm. we're getting where it's like mm -hmm. this was stuff that scientists or doctors whatever had seen and talked about in the 60s yep. you know there's we see the beginning of the outbreaks in Jakarta mm -hmm. uh, Jakarta that's what it was and uh, 2000 just having that yeah. one professor who's like bomb everything yeah <laughs> kill like, everyone yeah right like I don't think that's her normal response to it yeah. but she well, knows what I the danger so. of this thing is and, and then immediately is going to go home to be with her family which is in the middle of the bombing you know, like, she knows what needs to be done, but she's not looking down and being like, all right, destroy them. She says, destroy us. That's Yeah, bomb, so bomb the city. Like, this bomb city. us. Yeah, because I feel like there's a difference where, like, it's easier to be like, bomb them. Yeah. Bomb that city that's infected. Yeah. Not like, bomb our city that's yeah. infected kind of thing. Which yeah. is, I mean, like, it's like the first part where it's like, no, you have to have no hope to deal with this thing. Like, everybody here is dead already and Joel feels that about the world 20 mm -hmm. years later he's like mm -hmm. well we live in these you know small little spots here yes but there's no hope and it's ridiculous for me to for you to ask it of me to the point where he sees a miracle and can't he can't even process it it's like no it's something that it cannot be that I cannot let that hope in my head sure and he's like well what if this first bite didn't take the second bite will yeah. take and all that kind of stuff so his hope is just like this is infectious and Tess you know, sacrifices herself for it I yes would be down there trying to go please bark you know but I I don't know what was going through her head exactly but I, I can't imagine a world in which I would just be like alright kiss me zombie yeah <laughs> <laughs> I want to, want to be, I want to die fighting or something. But I mean, she also might not have been fully in control yeah. of her motor function. Sure. At the time. No, I get you. Seemed like she was having to concentrate on now, the the lighter. I wonder if like there's something to you know if this is kind of a hive mind that we had this whole vine thing that goes for a mile and connects and hive minds. If by nature of being bitten, you're I wonder if it's like it makes you more complicit, not complicit, complacent. Yeah. As you're being taken over, I don't know. I think that's what that one's kind of meaning by like, yeah. what was she able to do in that moment? Mm -hmm. I find it scarier. I think having these like, like that one guy they shot, and it wasn't the sound; it was the fact that like the vines under the ground felt he was dead. I yep. guess yeah. I don't know what happened that it woke up all the other guys and yeah. got in their hands and. 
It's that it was like an it's intelligent weird. response. Yeah. It, it gives more of a hive mindy feel to things, right? Yeah. Like the idea of the ant who crawls itself up and explodes and it sends out more to go and infect more. It just feels like it's all connected and it's like now we will control more things. And mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just weird. It's almost scary. Because you can have complex functions for just a simple reproduction, you know? It's like somehow it has figured out that if the organism grows this way and does this, then it spreads. And that's a, a desirable function of its existence. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just so creepy how like dissociated and, and unintelligent it is, but how intelligent it can seem. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's, and it's not limited to the individual. It's it's this whole thing. Yeah. Now they use the word, ah, oh, they're cooked. As in, these ones aren't going to give us a problem anymore because they're too dried out is the yeah, idea, I suppose. I guess so. Right? Because that's probably like, if you're, if you're a mushroom, you stay where it's damp and dark. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, in direct sunlight, you'll just dry out. So they're not drinking water and stuff. So after about... 20 to 30 days if you're not like if you're not in a moist environment i guess yeah. the bodies just dry out and mm -hmm. the cordyceps die which would make sense because they said about one to two months it seems most infected die but some have been wandering for 20 years yeah you know, maybe a difference of like they talk about like big ones that explode and spread spores like maybe they're like big wet juicy ones that can like they can survive a longer, longer distance period. and stuff yeah. for a longer period of time because like they camels. have a lot more moisture in them. Yeah. Maybe it has to do with that, you know? I don't know. Sure. The uh, movement of the mushroom vines, like it's obviously, you know, we can watch a mushroom grow and speed it up and see its movement, you know? But they're like taking that as inspiration, but it's not so like stop motioning, you know? Yeah. It's a little bit more fluid as if what would a mushroom grow like? You can just tell there's just so much reference, so much research sure. gone into it. And plants are interesting because, like, like you said about the one thing, when they pulled out the weird vines out of the mouth, it yeah. looked like they were, like, reaching for her. Yeah. yeah. Like, they're going towards, like, the resources or whatever. Yeah. And it makes me think of, like, tropism. when you have, like, vines growing a building, like, it keeps going and it keeps attaching itself and yeah. taking yeah. in more, like, just trying to get nutrients and stuff. And, like, yeah. how does it know to grab this stuff, you know? Exactly. It just, it just finds it. It's weird. And we have this, you know... Einstein has the theory of relativity and all that stuff, but we're just like, well, it's not moving. It's just plants. And we walk on, walk along, but you have a camera and you fast forward. It's like, no, that shit's not just staying there. It moves. It breaks buildings. All of Boston's being torn down is primarily because of plants, not even the fungus. I think it's mostly because of the bombing that happened, though. Well, that's, no, that's, 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 that's definitely helps, about the, but, I mean, it, the amount of time... They're not bombing anymore. <laughs> the, yeah, but the amount of time sure. it takes for, for nature to take over is... So quick, you know, like to the point. Isn't where there like grass growing in Times Square through the concrete? Is there? Just, I mean, just because of the lockdown. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Like just yeah. that quickly. Yeah. Hmm. And just the the force of nature that we all take for granted because it's not quick is always something that I enjoyed in the original Last of Us, and I might enjoy it more here. It's just so photorealistic and it just feels like no that's what would happen you know minus all the fungus zombie stuff but that could happen too sure. <laughs> I mean, maybe climate change that's the scariest part about like you know episode one with Jonathan mm -hmm. it's like if just one tiny tiny little thing changed humanity would be dead yeah it's a great series I think it's one discovery but it's uh, the premise is what if all humans had suddenly disappeared? Like how long would it take for nature re like take over cities and civilization and stuff like that? And it's just so humbling because it's so quick. And the only thing that sticks around is like rock, steel, metal, all that stuff. That's gone. It's just rock. Yep. <sighs> well, I'm gonna crack up some Q and A's. Crack, crack up. Open. Crack them up. Crack them up. I crack change, on. I gotta change my vernacular to think about. Hive mind, the fungus. It's cracking up the civilization. I thought it was interesting that Tess had the line of save who you can save. Yeah. I just thought it was an interesting, I don't know, premise for him. Like, it wasn't like save her. It was save who you can save. 
Sure. Which I thought was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Does like, he, for right now, she is someone that you can save, so he's going to save her. And by extension of that, like, well, if he gets her to where she needs to go and maybe all this is true, maybe he can save everybody. Sure. I just wonder how far it goes because, like, you also have, like, the idea of him wanting to look for Tommy. If he finds Tommy, can he save Tommy? Mm -hmm. Like, is there another side of things where it's, like... What's in your power to do? Like, you can't help Tessa. Well, sure. Like, how far should you go with this stuff? Like, don't... Like, you know, she even had, like, a line in there that I thought kind of, like... It's like, regardless of what me and you is, that's done. Save who you can save. You can't save me. Mm Mm-hmm. Which, if you can save Ellie, and if you can have that hope that Ellie can do something, then that's a and it's in your power. Then you gotta do it, right? But Joel's like, no, ridiculous. Have you not been here the last twenty years? <sighs> All right, let's uh, see here. So, it's random word says, <clears throat> do you prefer this ending for Tess or the one from the game? They're pretty similar. It's the same general idea. It's yeah. just a matter of having a more human influence or not mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. yeah uh i don't i, I like don't, this one i don't have a preference really personally you i think, it, I think one. this one's fine yeah they're both really good they're both you know poignant sad but i i think it's like the the spark for joel it you know? it depends on th- this show and how they want to do people right like in this world versus like you know like walking dead or the original last of us you know, usually you have this post-apocalyptic kind of world. Are the people acting out of people's best nature? You know, like what's good for everybody? Mm-hmm. Are they going to be more piratey and coming in trying to take everyone's resources and stuff? Sure. You know, like how much do they care about just people in general versus yeah. the infected? You know, like lots of sure. times I feel like it should be like, well, we should prioritize people versus the infected. <laughs> yeah. Though like in Walking Dead, there's definitely people that don't view that way, you know? Yeah. They look out for themselves and what they sure. can take from whoever's alive, you know? I, so, I like the, the added wrinkle here where it's like, you know, in the in the game and I hear the infected, I'm just like, individual zombies are coming for me. But now it kind of feels like, no, there's like this greater mind almost. And yeah. Mind is me just, you know, probably assigning that word to it. But there's this force that all of these individuals are an agent of, which is sure. scarier because it's so unknown. It makes these monster ones seem more of a threat because killing one could be more dangerous than trying to yeah. just avoid it if uh-huh. you can, you know? Sure, which is a great lesson for me, because I don't know about you guys, but I get stuck in a video game. I'm like, all right, I'm going to kill everything and then deal with everything later. And sometimes, Last of Us, you can do that, but it's better if you don't. Yeah. And here, it's definitely better if you don't. I also, you know, my own ways of playing games, like you were like, have Joe pick up some of those grenades. In my head, I'm just going like, I won't use them. I'll keep them all the way into the game. And never use them because <laughs> I'm sure. like that. Well, it's like no, like, there could be a situation I'd need this more, but I never run into it because I'm always expecting the next situation. Expecting gonna the next to be worse, so you're yeah. always using the minimal amount. I end the game with all this shit that I don't need. I do that in so many things. <clears throat> Captain Comics says, "Hey guys, so what do you think of the introduction of tendrils, which are the show's replacement for spores? Do you like the new concept or no?" Here is what Neil Druckmann, the Last of Us co-creator, said about the spores. He also made his live-action director debut with this episode. That's awesome. Uh, Let's see. Druckmann then went on to address how the infection will spread in the show, stating the team did not want to have the cast wearing gas masks like they see at certain points in the game. Elaborating on this point, Druckmann said, This eventually led to the idea of using tendrils instead of spores in the air. And then, just thinking about how there's a passage that happens from one infected to another, and like fungus does, it be, could become a network that is interconnected. It became very scary to think about, to think that they're working against us in this unified way, mm-hmm. which is a concept that I really liked that got developed in the show, he stated. Yeah, sure. I, I know the the idea of tendrils and, and vines and stuff was in the early uh, conceptual parts of the game, and they ended up going a different way with the spores, but here yeah. they're kind of like... Take, reclaiming that idea. No, cool. I think like having zombies and stuff in general, like having a zombie that you can kill can mm-hmm. be terrifying, but the threat of like, well, if I kill this, it can possibly contact 
more zombies that don't even know I'm here. Yeah. Even if you sure. kill it silently. Like, yeah. if you stabbed it in the head, you know, with that axe exactly. or whatever. Like, it could still fall and do exactly what it did. And it's like, that's that's terrible. Because, like, from miles away, like, I don't know how far away. It was a 10-minute walk yeah. from that one place. Like, I don't know how far away they were. Sure. But that was, it wasn't like they just heard the gunshot. Yeah. So you have to be quiet. You have to be super stealthy. And, then, like, even if you mess up once... There's a whole army could find you. Yeah, yeah, and, and fast. I, I think that's the big difference is like the ignorance of what that hive mind is. I don't know what it is, but I can imagine it's very scary. Sure, even if it's not really that. And scary. What more could it contact yeah. or something? Or sure, like, we've just seen the 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 clicker type of thing, and then like mm-hmm. the initial infected people. Sure, but like even Ellie was talking about like rumors of other kinds of infected that there could yeah. be so like how do they respond with the vines or do yeah. they utilize them to search for you or can yeah. they see or mm-hmm. and, and the, these types of stuff like ignorance needs to i mean it builds tension we have no idea what's going to happen you have the audience that can know stuff one of the reasons zombie stuff kind of like well it was cool when it first started and now we're kind of over zombies because everybody knows the rules of zombies and that ignorance sure. is kind of gone you watch episodes of the walking dead and a character, at one point, a character has a spear, is being followed by zombies, climbs a tree, pokes all the zombies, fine. And we never see anything like that happen ever again. And the characters that die from zombies are like, well, you're a fucking idiot, because you know what you can do. Carry around spear, do these type of things. Yeah. But if those zombies also were attached to some type of, like, hive mind shit, I'd be like, wait, you don't know if you could do that. You don't know if that's safe. They might come and start chopping the tree down, or... Creating a ladder out of their bodies. I don't know what they're sure. going to do. You yeah. know, cause Human a, pyramid. Because a hive mind that can use numbers as resources is far scarier than a dumb zombie. So yeah. that, I think that's where shows like this uh, that play with your ignorance and then reward you when you do learn some stuff. It's, it's really cool. But I like whenever you can keep using that information. Uh, Stevie. 2393 says, I know we're only two episodes in. So far, I'm loving the additions, changes, and story expansions they've made. Would you agree that video games are much better suited for TV adaptations? For TV adaptations? I get what you mean. As Versus opposed to movies? like a movie? Yeah. I generally would. I think it depends on the game. Yeah. But, I mean, most games usually take, you know, several hours yeah. to beat. And I feel like that... Bodes better for a TV show. Though I'd probably say the same. You have more runtime. Yeah, but I'd probably typically say the same thing about like movies and, or like uh, books and movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Like books can be pages and pages of, you know, so much information yeah. and stuff. And sometimes a two hour movie isn't enough to really get everything across from what you were trying to take from the book and stuff. Yeah. And I think the same thing can be said about games. Now, maybe not every game, and maybe some games are deeper than others. Sure. You know? Like, yeah. there's some games that you could beat in 30 minutes. Sure. And, like, you know, the typical Mario Brothers game may not be as super deep as, like, maybe Last of Us or mm-hmm. something with a more story-oriented rather than, like, level-based orient. Like, coming up with a cool Mario level sure. is typically, I feel like, how they do it. It's not necessarily yeah. about, like, what is the exact story of this level versus the previous sure. level. Mario is a gaming they experience, have but I never really feel like, oh, I've learned so much more about Mario by the time I got to the end of the game. Sure. It's like, no, you've uh, you've overcome something with Mario. But stuff like this, you're learning about characters and putting them in situations. And then whenever you make adaptations, are you putting those characters that you know in the same or new or slightly different situations? It's very rewarding. Because I've spent sure. some, I've already invested time there, and then Grant also for people that are watching new, it's probably not as important a question for someone that's don't really care about the adaptation. They're just watching new media, mm-hmm. but I would say that the success of these games and these characters comes from long form. In which case, yeah, a, a, an HBO show mm-hmm. is probably the best thing you could do. Yeah, right. Because HBO is like, hey, we got money, we know how to make TV. In a movie standpoint, everything we've seen would have been done in 20 minutes, Yeah. right? Like, yeah. you'd have had five, ten minutes for the entire opening intro or something, Yeah. probably. And then this part here, you would have gotten through probably all of the present-day stuff mm-hmm. in, like, the next uh, 20 minutes or so. Yeah, it would like, be exciting, probably. but it necessarily wouldn't feel... Like, this has a tension to it. Sure. That even though I know everything that's going to happen, <laughs> I do, because I've played the game... 
I still feel so tense. So that's sure. just a that's just a mastery of of expression that you only really get the time to do in individual episodes like this in television. You can't really do it for movies because we got three acts and we got to keep moving. Yeah, yeah. And like sometimes I think you could look at it and be like, oh well, this show I could have cut off this, this, this. I could have yeah. maybe condensed it to a yeah. movie and not lost too much. But then there's other times where it's like there's so much stuff I don't know what I would cut out. You yeah. know. Yeah. No, I agree. Uh, and if you're keeping the plot, you're cutting out the characters. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, do you want to have more time to breathe with the characters? Do you want to rush through the plot a bit more? I mean, there's a reason that the Uncharted movie didn't really stick around with me, but the games really do. But I can already tell that this is going to stick around with me. Sure. You know? Like, Uncharted might have done better as a mystery TV show. Might have. Right? Yeah. Like, maybe, like, each each episode was kind of covering a different element of the mystery, and you kind of, like, yeah. let that breathe a little bit more as you're kind of national treasure mystery diving into these things too sure. but it was a little faster maybe you know yep so yeah I like this so far I'm, in, I'm enjoying it a lot I, I, I wouldn't have wanted to lose like you probably would have ended up cutting in a movie format all the 2003 stuff and the 1968 stuff you know what I mean like a lot yeah. of those flashbacks to what happened yeah kind of like how the game didn't really cover mm-hmm. that you probably would have not seen that stuff sure so, I like seeing that. And then you're just also more accepting of that type of stuff when you know you're going into a, to a 10-week television show as opposed to a two-and-a-half-hour movie, yeah. right? Two-and-a-half-hour mo- movie, like, it doesn't matter how good it is. I'm going to be like, all right, this is going on a little long. We don't have time. Sure. I'm now missing potential of all the other stuff I want to see. Yeah, Whereas sure. a television show, the potential is every episode. Uh, Logan Britton says, are you mad that Joel didn't grab any grenades? Because I am. <laughs> All right, maybe they aren't the most practical, but come on, Joel, they're grenades. It's better than having to make nail bombs. Speaking of which, do you think we'll see any crafted items in this show? I definitely think we'll see crafted items and stuff. In desperation of resources, I think that's when you, you pull that type of I stuff. I guarantee out. we at least see a Molotov. Yeah, right? I say so. Like, I think it's mm-hmm. easy enough to make. Yeah. I think we at least see that. Maybe not a na- the nail bomb, maybe. Sure. I don't know. But I like hey, the idea no. of like smoke bombs and Molotovs and stuff. I would like a stabbing weapon that I can keep on me. Huh? I'm always losing shivs and stuff. Make more. I know. Make more, Eric. I don't run out of stuff. Well, you got resources. <laughs> I'm stealth killing everything. But again, I would do the same thing. I mean, maybe less so in real life. But if I have grenades, I might be like, we're going to need these later. Because this game's going to ramp up. I know that's how games work. They don't like have the hard shit now. And then it's easy later. So I gotta keep these grenades for later. That's what my internal logic is. What happens when you find like a big chest of like, look at all this shit they gave me? You're not like, I better use this in the next segment? <laughs> Sometimes. If they're giving me a bunch of health and shit, I'm like, nah, man. Yeah. Boss battle. Dang it. Uh, I better <laughs> use all the shit they just gave me. I'm more likely to use it if it took me a while to find. Yeah. Like, it's like a hidden thing. Not that they were like, hey, you're gonna need this and this and this for the next boss battle but if i like you know took a while in a game to like find something I'm like oh this was a secret i feel better using this because the game doesn't isn't saying like hey motherfucker you need this or you're gonna die sure so i i, I i'm it's counterintuitive like it doesn't expect the average player to have yeah it, right? it's the same way when i'm trying to pick a direction right on this side the game designers have like water and light and it's it, it wants me to go i want to go that way and over here there's nothing saying to go this way Right? So I'm implying, okay, well, that's the main course, and over here is going to be like a secret. And I'm always messing up in my head, like, should I go try to find the secret first, or should I go to the main course thing first? Because sometimes you do that, and it's like, no, here's an area you're like, you can't even go yet. That happens. So it's a lot of weirdness when I play games. I'm trying to, like, figure out the meta. But television show, it just is. The now, meta. for me, I'm kind of the opposite way. Yeah. Like, if it took me a long time to collect it, I'm, yeah. like, I'm thinking, like, well, how long will it take me in-game sure. to replenish my stores? Yeah. I want to wait until, like, I, I have, like, a surplus. Yeah. And then I can use it slowly as I'm slowly replenishing it. Yeah, no. I think that's the intended way to do things. Probably. I know that I'm counterintuitive and that I'm fucking up, but think I'm doing the right things. I think I'm tricking it's right for programmers you. that are trying to pick, me, pick a direction for me, you know? It's right for you. It that's is. all that matters. I know. Well, also, I just turn, tend to go right anyway, because I do that in life. Sure. <laughs> All right, last one is Tip uh, Dip PG, who says, uh, I am so game-minded that every time there is a locked door, I'm like, quick, 
someone make a shiv. <laughs> also, check the bags and the trolley. They looked untouched. They did look untouched. They did. Uh, question, how disappointed would you be if Joel never uses a brick? Or even worse, <laughs> he does use a bottle instead. <laughs> oh, does use a bottle? Is that bad? No, the bottle. Bottles suck. I mean, if I had a, a bottle and a brick, I would probably go for the brick more. Like, in real life. In the game, it didn't really bother me at all. If it's a full bottle of something. Like, if it was, like, a full of this or an empty of this. Sure. Like, the full one might hurt a good bit. It would, but I'd still use the brick. And it I'd shatters. Think. It gets them all wet. Yeah. Yeah, I would I would use the brick every but time. But if I had just I a full-size brick right here, and I had this right here, and I said, Aaron, pick one, I'm going to throw your face. Which one do you pick? He's going to pick the bottle. Yeah, I guess it's Because it's less right damaging. Now. Yeah. <laughs> the brick's better. Oh, is it? <laughs> I think so. But not in the game. Duck. Yeah. Not in the game. Plus aerodynamic. I'll duck the brick. No, for anybody that's watching, um, you, yeah, this isn't a, a story spoiler or anything, but if they, anybody ever picks up a brick or a bottle, just know that there's a 60% of people watching are going to freak out for no reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, then, yeah. I, hmm. If I had a bottle in the game and I found a brick, I would change, I'd change it every time. I would throw the bottle down yeah. and pick up the brick. Huh. I don't know what time. I did. I don't remember. Gotcha. Been so long. Yeah. Yeah. I probably use brick. I, I know I use bottles too. I don't see anything coming. I just throw the bottle at them. Then I run over and ship them. Sure. You know. All right. That's the last question. You guys got anything else for the episode? Fantastic color grading. Yep. Fantastic set design. Fantastic direction. And good job, Neil, for his uh, for his debut. Yeah. If I was going to say, here's the first thing I ever directed, and it's this. I would be proud. It's pretty good. No, but he's directed a game. Sure. No, I get you. So it's it's a little yeah. similar. Yeah. He didn't just like trip into like no. talent. Oh my no. god, it's everywhere. <laughs> 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 All right, we need a poll for this episode. All right, guys, poll for this week. Out of the two episodes we've had so far, we have had some flashback moments talking about fungus and what would happen, and then seeing the like conception of it entering people and starting to spread. So uh, with all that, would you? Do you hope to see one of those every episode, or do you want to maybe have them spread out a bit and only certain episodes we see that? Um, personally, I'm enjoying the two things that we've gotten for it. I'd yeah. like to be able to see more of the history of like how it happened or where it came from or what what they did before. Maybe even seen from 2003 to 20 what 22 or whatever we're in, like kind of seeing in between there of like yeah. what the response was when it started mm -hmm. to spread might be cool too. Mm -hmm. And seemingly good people making bad decisions, but they're good decisions too. This didn't work. Bad sure. people making de good decisions. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, as a person that's played the game, yeah, I just want more. So I would say 100% do it. But I'd be mm -hmm. most interested to see people that haven't played the game, what they think. Sure, yeah, if they like it or not. Mm -hmm. Well, let us know over at patreon.com slash blindwave. Leave a comment. We'll talk about it next time. And also, while you're there, check out the full length because it's also over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of The Last of Us. If you enjoyed this reaction, this discussion, all the questions, all that jazz, you're really going to enjoy subscribing. You know what happens when you hit subscribe? We're in your feed more! Ha-ha! <laughs>